Good morning. It's another episode here of Morning Momentum. Looking forward to spending a little bit of time together with you this morning. Today, we're going to be talking about limits. In fact, I have a question for you. What are your limits? Why don't we jump right into this episode to find out what God has for us today. It is the design of Morning Momentum to kind of fix your attention on the direction that God intends for you to move toward in this year. We are only a couple months into a brand new year, but I still believe it's important that we focus attention on where we're going. Each morning, I pray that you are able to glean something from our short time together that will propel you into everything that God has for your life, your family, and even your future. Before we dig too deep into what that may look like today, I think we need to address the elephant in the room. We all have limits. And we oftentimes believe we can never step into the fullness that God intends for us because of the limits that we feel hindered by in our lives. Now, I think it is vital that we examine some of these beliefs, not so we can fixate on them, but so we can educate ourselves on what not to do and where not to turn. The Bible does say that we should not be ignorant concerning the devil's devices. I recently read something from an author by the name of Rabbi Alamedan, who stated, what happens is of little significance compared with the stories we tell ourselves about what happens. What I think that means is simply this, our belief about ourselves shapes our reality. We experience what we expect, and if you spend your entire life limited by false assumptions about yourself, you will experience many of those assumptions. In pastoring and leading, I have noticed many things about people that can't seem to get past the limitations they have established in their minds and in their lives. Now, one thing I have noticed is this, the greater number of setbacks one has experienced in life, the less likely they are to believe that they can ever overcome anything and be victorious and prevail. Doubt and fear and worry creeps in, and before they know it, they have poisoned their future by allowing that doubt to to seep into their thinking and deep down into their actions. Most of us have a long history of not getting what we want out of life, let's just be honest. And to shield ourselves from being disappointed in the future, you know what we do? We tend to develop a cynical, self-protective attitude toward life. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Our beliefs about our future, our beliefs about our family, our beliefs about our marriage, about what's possible in our lives, has a direct impact on the reality that we experience. I believe that there are some of you watching this episode this morning that have amazing futures ahead of you, but the problem is you don't believe that. You have a hard time accepting the fact that what the Bible says about you is true in your life, in your family, in your future. And the reason is, is you look back at all the mistakes and all the hurts and all the failures that have riddled your past. It's hard to get your hopes dashed if you never get them up in the first place. I want to drop in a statement that I believe needs to be mentioned here this morning, and it's this. You cannot allow your past to determine your future. I will say that again. You cannot allow your past to determine your future. You cannot allow yesterday to determine tomorrow. So many people never reach for something more or something greater because they don't think they can. Their past has put limits on their thinking and you never think of strategies to overcome because you only have a negative outcome in your brain that you think is inevitable. You have to change your thinking if you want to change your future. We've been talking about this the last month or so in our Sunday morning class at the Point Church. We've been talking about changing your thinking and changing your life. Many of the circumstances that seem to limit us in our daily lives may only appear to do so based on a framework 
of assumptions we carry with us. In other words, we assume things that are not true. Let me give you some historical examples to maybe help you today. Pilots once thought that it was impossible to fly faster than 768 miles per hour, which is the speed of sound at sea level. But Chuck Yeager figured he could do it, and officially he broke the sound barrier on October 14, 1947. Now pilots fly two, four, even six times the speed of sound. Before 1954, runners assumed it was impossible to run a mile in less than four minutes. Then Roger Bannister ran it in three minutes, 59 seconds, and some change, which opened the door, and now that's broken all the time. Here's another one for you. In the middle of the 1980s, there was a skateboarder by the name of Mike McGill. Mike did the first ever 540 degree aerial turn on a skateboard. That's a full rotation and a half. No one thought it could be done. It became known as the McTwist, and suddenly others began doing it and even pushed it farther. Tony Hawk did the first ever 720 degree turn, and then in 2012, Tom Scheer, at 12 years old, did the first ever 1080. That's three full rotations in the air. You have to believe that things can be different and that God can take the limits off your perspective. David said it the way that I want to live it. In Psalm 27, 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You cannot allow your life to be driven by a limiting belief because here's the truth of the matter. With God, all things are possible. I, I think that people view their lives basically in two ways, with fear, or with faith, with scarcity or abundance, with doubt or with belief. And these two types of approaches are seen so clearly in the 12 spies and their report when they went in to view the promised land. 10 came back with a scarcity mentality. Two came back with an abundance mentality. If we are not careful, we will allow four things to keep us from never fully recognizing we have a God who created us with no limits. These four things, if we allow them to, can hold us back from reaching forward. And I'm going to give them to you really quickly. Number one, you cannot allow your past to keep you from moving forward. Your past may consist of your mistakes, your the unfair treatment of someone to you, a, a, a failure, something that was painful. You cannot allow the past. Second of all, you cannot allow the present. You can't, you can't allow news media and headlines and current events and things that you're facing right now in today stop you from moving forward. The third thing is you cannot allow the pretend to keep you from going where God wants you to go. What do you mean the pretend, Pastor Sergeant? I'm simply meaning social media, the highlight reels of people's lives. You know, so often we look at social media and Instagram posts and we see all the highlights of someone's life, all the good stuff. We don't see the bad. We don't see the pain. That's the pretend. And finally, you cannot allow people. Here's, here's something I tell young people all the time. Your connections determine your condition. Show me your friends, I'll show you your future. You hang around certain people that are always negative, you're going to be negative. You hang around people that are always griping and complaining, you're probably going to become a person that gripes and complains. Critical people, you'll become critical. I choose to hang around people that make me feel like I need to stretch. I need to become better, positive, filled with faith, moving forward at it. So I want you to really, I really want you to step into your potential and recognize what Paul said in Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. That's what I'm believing for you today. Till tomorrow, this is Pastor Sergeant. Have a great day.